Hey everybody, this is QHJ1 and welcome back to Let's Play Trine. In this part, we're gonna go through... What's the next level? I forget, I forget. What's the next level? What's the next level? A crypt. I'm a damn... Ooh, scary. So, part 4 and 5 have had their own problems. For one, part 4 didn't have my video commentate or the audio, because I deleted the audio afterwards, because there's no point in having audio with the video being gone. So I had to do that, showing off where the things were supposed to be. Crystal Caverns had another issue where the um, audio didn't record, so I had to do post-commentary. I wonder what's going to go wrong on this one. Hopefully nothing, because I've checked both my audio and video settings, and this time it should work properly. Anyways, let's continue. Fear had found a comfortable place in our heroes' hearts. Deeply troubled, their minds began to fill with woe. The knight had not eaten in many hours, and the scent of meat had not made it any easier. The thief started to worry if she would ever be free again. And the wizard? Well, he was concerned that they would never find the other artifacts to break the trine's spell. Though truth be told, he didn't mind having some company that stuck with him for more than an hour. Fear not, I shall lead the way. I wish there was more light. Ah, crit of the damned. This is actually one of my more favorite levels in the game. It's one of my more memorable ones, anyways. I think I just wonder something back here. Anyways, this is the crypt of the damned. Voyage of the damned? No, that's something different. Um, this level it has the poisonous. Swamp water from the before, and the concept of well, there's barely any light, which makes it hard to see, especially at points. You'll see that before it comes on. So that's pretty much the big gimmick of the level. So you're wondering, is there a light gimmick where you can put more light in the level? Well, you'll see. We will see. Come on, there has to be after all. Hey, look, now. Place chest. Well, an in place chest. Come on. Let me press shift. Yeah, I didn't get that again. For some reason, I thought I was going to show off the um, whole deal with um, the ship charge thing, but I did upgrade that. I just um, waited until I get the um, next upgrade. I'll show off probably soon, hopefully. Anyways, let's open the chest. Da 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 da, the fire bow. Which just just become the normal accessory. I think this just becomes the normal accessory that you get. I've seen wizards light torches with fireballs. Can you? The fireballs? Then they never work. It's a waste of time. I should have known. I can light the torches with fire arrows. I could light the torches too! <laughs> I love that dialogue. Oh, I do. But yeah, the fire bow is just another upgrade in um, Trine 2. But we'll talk about Trine 2 more when that comes up pertinent. For now, I'll show you what it is. Oh, that's not There you go! That's the fire bow in action. It's really nice, isn't it? It does, I think, slightly more damage than the normal bow. I think, but it, at the cost of some magic. And to be completely honest, other than using it for this and for some other purposes, I don't really use them. I mean, they're cool and all. I'll give you that, but I'm not a big fan of them overall because I just don't see their use being so much more than playing up these torches. So in a way they're kind of a limited gimmick, but they are still good. They're also good for breaking stuff. So other than that, there you go. I thought there was a, um, oh, be but I guess not. Hey. Ah! How the hell did that not count as a kill? When you have like no health, 
So how does that count as a... I don't know how that thing counts as a kill. I really don't. But you know what? That's one of those things where you're wondering it, you're really wondering why, but you don't complain about it because there's really not much point of complaining about it. Ow. Yeah, I know. Wizard, you're, you're getting hurt in the swamp. And there you go, that's what you do with it. You light up torches and you do damage to things and stuff. Stuff. Let's take this and move it out of the way. Take this and move it out of the way. Take this and move it out of the way for a level up. For a level up. Take this and die. Let's level up. Okay, we have two for you, which we can't do anything with you yet. Uh, the fire bow. We can use it to increase fire damage, which we could. Or could we get the um, three arrows at once? And we could get the. Here you go. Ready? Here's the next one. Da 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 The flaming sword! Cause it's more damage, and we're gonna beat that for sure. And let's get... Uh... I don't know, this is a really tough one for the... Thief. Oh, let's do this. Yeah, I know, I know. How are we gonna get across now? There you go, that's how. I don't know. Okay, this is not worth it. This is not worth it. This is not worth it. You killed yourself. Ah, ah. The bats are annoying. <laughs> they killed themselves. Well, I screwed up. <laughs> Not like it. Holy shit, okay, it doesn't matter because we are all the way back here. Fortunately, since we've grabbed pretty much everything that's going to be here, maybe a few things, but not really, not really missing anything in the first place, we just can do a straight forward run. Unless we die again. Uh, I can't remember. Alright, so I hate those bats. Seriously, I hate those bats. I'm telling you, I hate those bats. This is the most annoying enemy in the entire game. Hate them? They should be dead. They should just... They should just not exist. Let's just say that. They are so horrible that they shouldn't exist and the laws of physics should not be following them. Yes, they are. Oh, here's one thing. Oh, oh my bad. I think it's a chance to throw that off properly, but... Um... If you have boxes, and you use fire arrows on them, they will be destroyed, like this. Like this. Okay, fine. Everything just does, wants to... Mess up my showings of things, and it just. Theory. That's another use for him if you are really wanting to see what the uses are for him. Otherwise, they're really not the useful. I hate the camera angle here. Here. I'm pretty sure there's something up here, maybe. You would think there's something up there. You would think. In fact, I'm curious, is there really nothing up here? It feels like it. Yeah, see? You would think there'd be something important up here. But the game says no. Um, 
What are these, you ask? <laughs> uh, to be honest, I am not completely sure what they are. They look like grenades for some reason. Maybe they are. I just I've never used them. So. Obviously, they're not that important to me if I've never used them. Oh. Anyways, we are about. I'm going to say probably halfway through the level. No, not even close. No, not even close. Haha. Uh -huh. I really don't have much to talk about in this episode so far. I mean, this is a pretty straightforward level. I mean, what do you want me to say about it? Like, okay, we're gonna go through year and year and year. Nah. I don't know. It's still a good level. I'm, I'm not saying it's bad, it's just there's not really much to talk about. I could talk about my experiences in um, 3D land more, because I think I revealed that I really liked it. But, spoilers for some people, because some people haven't played 3D land. I haven't beat it. Like, not even the main story. But I've got through most of it, and so far it's a really good experience. I just, to me, and probably a lot of people, it feels like a big homage to Mario, Super Mario Bros. 3. The pictures remind me of the letters from the kingdoms in um, SMB3. There's a lot of music that sounds like it, like um, instruments sound SMB3-ish in a way. And um, it's just a really good experience. The levels really aren't that long, kind of like Super Mario Bros. 3. But I mean, the levels don't really have to be that long to begin with. There's no real reason, as long as the level design is good. It's all good in the end. That's how I have always seen it. One thing I want to know is... Yeah, with the fire sword, you can actually ignite these torches. So, there you go. Myth solved. It kind of makes obvious sense, but... Just in case you wanted to know. But yeah, like I said, um... It's a big come on to an SMB3 in my life. And that's it. It's fine. It's fine in my opinion. SMB3 is a fun game. I love that. And let's open this chest and get a pendant of life stealing. A pendant enchanted with dark magic allowing this bearer to draw life force from nearby dead spirits. Let's give this to the knight. Cause he's usually going to um No, let's get this to the D. I don't know. That's a tough choice. Cause we use the knight a lot for hitting things, but we also use this thief a lot, but we already have enough slots for the, um, wizard, and we don't want to give him too much already. I like balance. I don't like having, I always like having their slots be, um, equally filled in some way, so it just looks better. That's just me, though. And we're out of, um, magic. That's great. Haha. Uh -huh. I love doing that. Ah, and I love the fire sword as well. It's just so much fun. Except you can't use, um, the poison with it, so be wary. And I wonder where that bridge goes to. Oh wait, goes there. You know, doesn't that bridge look a bit too long? I don't know. Never thought about it. And the first time in the level, we're gonna use the plank. I almost forgot its existence. Did you? Because I. Certainly did. I just 
not really much point in using it because it's not like we're having to shoot you in. Well, okay. No one cares about you, John. You failed 3,545 times in your lifetime, so you kind of get excluded from the giving us back to that game. Oh, he'll get some bad if you watch that video, or he'll laugh. <laughs> Either way. Either way, I still don't care about you. You, you. you don't do anything for me. You take too long when you try to do replies on RPs. Yeah, I'm gonna publicly talk about this. We're gonna do about it. Huh, 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 huh. Okay, okay, I'm, I'm gonna stop talking about my friend now and continue talking about um, the game trying and my experiences in Mario 3D Land, which is probably the best 3D Mario game since Galaxy 2, in my opinion. Oh, I love the game so much, and I love trying. One of the funnest games that I've played. Probably the funnest game I've LP'd. I mean, I genuinely like this game to its core. I mean, of course, there are things wrong with it, of course. Some things that I wish could be improved, worked upon, etc., etc., but it's nothing that really affects the overall experience enough to where I can say, you know what, I really don't like this game that much. I mean, the Last time I could have said that genuinely is probably, um, I don't know, PSR PR, because that's the only real hack that I like most of the time. I know why didn't you do this game like way back then? Because I never really got this game until recently, and I never had the computer process to do it. I had an old one gigabyte desktop that it could do that, but that was about it in terms of recording. But now that I have my laptop, which still is kind of messed up on its own, it works fine for what it is. Die. You must die. Seriously. Fuck bats. Uh. So you're wondering, how in the hell are you supposed to get that experience? Ready? One, two... That's how you're supposed to get it, or at least I think that's how you're supposed to get it anyways. I honestly don't know if this is how you're supposed to, but it's how I do it. It's really, really damned annoying. Also, if I want to show, this is to fund the academ academic, bony, and crystalline holiday secret gifts. This isn't what I was thinking of where you had to get all the secrets in the level. No, that's something completely different. Um, those are the... Each level will have those. And, um, that contributes to a little achievement you get towards the end, getting all these little things at the end of the level. Or those little purple holiday gifts of sorts. They are only found on um, very hard, I believe. Ah, uh, this one's gonna be hard to get. This one's always hard to get. I don't understand what you're supposed to do. All I know is I think you have to... All I know is I think you have to, like, go down here, possibly use a plank, and then jump up. Or you could use the thief. Overall, it's still just a pain in the butt to get. Da 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 Bracers! These are reduced damage to shots in arms. Let's give it to the knight. He needs it. After all, makes sense, right? Give the knight bracers. Come on. Oh well. Suicide run! Doesn't matter to me. And we have... Wait, that's the end of the level? No, it's not. Okay, good. First, I thought that was in the level. I was kind of scared. Oh, and these enemies! I don't know what they're called, but all you have to do is... Hit them in the back. It'll become really easy to kill later on, but... And we, we have to the... get out of here. We're close to the dungeons. This is the way to the castle. 
Ha! The castle must have food. On to the castle. <laughs> Why do you always care about food and you're dead? Why does it matter to you? Really, why does that matter to you? I don't get it. Oh, uh, we only have one shot here. We have to get that experience. How are we gonna get it? Oh, that was very close. But we got it! And this should lead to the last experience in the level. Crypt Master. Woo! So how do we get back up? What? Oh, we just turn this lever! And we should be at the end of the level, actually, to be completely honest. So I'm probably gonna get my outro here. Pretty soon, actually. I hope you've been liking this LP so far, because I... To be completely honest, I'm not sure if I can give this game as much credit as it deserves. It is a fun game. It's it's got a good physics-based platforming, and you have witty dialogue, which is trying to really expand on this dialogue, and overall it's just a really fun game, and if you can get this on like XBLA, PSN, and play Trying 2 in the director's cut when it comes out on Wii U, I definitely recommend you get this game. I'll be talking more about my opinions at the end of the game, part like 15, so yeah, let me take a break my Pepsi. So yeah, this is QHN1, and this is Trine, and we're now at the castle gates. What awaits us there? You will find out. <laughs> oh, this is delicious! And I'm signing off. Have a good day!